morning, Sunday School. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to our weekly online Sunday School video. Now this morning, we're going to start out with something a little different. I'm going to play a little game. I'm going to have you guess what this thing is. I'm going to show you something and I want you to guess what it is. Here we go. One, two, three. Do you kids know what it is? If you kids guessed a McDonald's Happy Meal, that's right. And for today's lesson, I'm going to tell you why I think being saved by Jesus is just like buying a McDonald's Happy Meal. Before we get into that, we're going to start with praise. I want you to stand up, get ready, get ready to sing loud and praise in three, two, one. the sunshine he's the one who puts the moon in the sky he's the one who hung the stars one by one he's the one who makes the birds sing he's the one who makes your dreams so high He's the one who makes me smile Day by day, Jesus, you're my superhero You're my star, my best friend Jesus, you're my superhero You're my star, my best friend Jesus, you're my superhero You're my star, my best friend Jesus, you're my superhero, you're my star, my best friend, yeah, 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 better than Spider-Man, yeah, 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 better than Superman, yeah, 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 yeah. Superhero, you're my star, my best friend. Jesus, you're my superhero, you're my star, my best friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Better than Uncle Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Better than Wonder Woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Superhero, you're my star, my best friend. Jesus, you're my superhero, you're my star, my best friend.
Kids, welcome back. Thank you, praise leaders, for those awesome praise songs. Uh, so before we get into our lesson today, we're going to open with a word of prayer. So let's all bow our heads, close our eyes, and I'll pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you again so much for this Sunday. Thank you for bringing all the children to come watch uh, through these online videos, Lord, to come watch uh, your message for today, Lord, to sing your praises to you, Lord. Uh, Lord, I just pray for the children, Lord, as we start this new year, Lord, that uh, you can just uh, remind them of your presence in their lives, Lord. Just remind them to keep up with their prayers, keep up with their reading of the Bible, their quiet time, Lord. Uh, Lord, just keep them safe and healthy and their families as well, Lord, as we uh, get through this crazy times of uh, with the COVID virus and everything else, Lord. Lord, I just uh, want to pray that uh, you keep us strong, keep us focused on you. And I pray all these things in your son's name. Amen. All right. So uh, if you've been keeping up with your quiet time readings, as you know, we're just finishing up with 1 John. And in 1 John, we have the Apostle John writing a letter to his fellow Christians. And he's basically reminding them of uh, what God wants from us. Uh, and Pastor David talked a little bit about one of those things last week. If you remember, it was about walking in God's light. And by walking in God's light, we're able to put a smile on God's face. And not only walking in his light, but also reflecting his light to others. Now, today's lesson comes from 1 John chapter 4, verse 13. Now, before we read this verse, uh, we're going to just do a little review. In this chapter, John is warning us that there are good teachers teaching us the truth. And that truth is that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, who is sent down to this world to live among us, to teach us, and to ultimately die on the cross for our sins and for our salvation. It goes on to teach us that God is love and that He is, and that is, he who loved us first made it possible for us to love him as well. Love our fellow brothers and sisters. So if, when we read uh, 1 John chapter 4, verse 12, the verse before our key verse, it says in that verse, no one has ever seen God. So when we believe in Jesus as our Lord and Savior, how do we know God has saved us? No one's ever seen him before. And here is the answer, and this brings us to our key verse for today, again from 1 John chapter 4, verse 13. So let's read this all together. 1 John chapter 4, verse 13. This is how we know that we live in Him and He in us. He has given us of His Spirit. Amen. Now, before we get into that key verse in more detail, uh, I'm going to get back to that McDonald's Happy Meal that I was talking about. Now, before we get to that, I'm going to ask you kids a question. If you kids were able to only eat one food for the rest of your life, what food would that be? I'll give you a few seconds to think about it. What food would you eat? if you could only pick one thing for the rest of your life to eat. Now for teacher Doug, I would pick hamburgers because I could eat hamburgers for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I could eat hamburgers every day, every day of the week. So let's say teacher Doug wanted a hamburger. I would go down to McDonald's and I would get my Happy Meal. And in my Happy Meal, I would get the hamburger, the hamburger that I was looking forward to so much for. But guess what? In that Happy Meal, I'd not only get my hamburger, but they also give you chocolate milk, 
and french fries and apple slices and a special McDonald's Rubik's 2D toy. Pretty cool, right? So I went to get that hamburger, but in that Happy Meal, I just didn't only get the hamburger, but I got a lot of other cool things. So let's get back to that key verse. Uh, so like I was saying, you know, being saved by Jesus Christ is kind of like buying a Happy Meal. What I meant was, when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, meaning that you believe that Jesus died for your sins, by doing that, you believe that Jesus is able to take away your sins, that we're able to, uh, we're able to be saved from the fate of sin, and the fate of sin is death. That's the punishment for sin, is death. So when we take away those sins, we escape death and we gain into eternal life and we're able to join God in heaven. And we call that salvation. And that's kind of the main thing we get. Kind of like the main thing I wanted was that hamburger. But I don't only just get that hamburger when I believe in Jesus and get that salvation. I also become a Christian. I also am able to have a relationship with God. And like the verse in 1 John chapter 13 tells us, when we become Christian, when we believe in Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we also receive the Holy Spirit in us. And the Holy Spirit lives in us, helps us be more like Jesus Christ, helps us put a smile on God's face in each and everything that we do. Kind of like the hamburger and the french fries and the chocolate milk and the toy that we get and the apple slices. And just like the fruit, the apple slices that we get from the Happy Meal, the Holy Spirit gives us fruits as well. And we're going to talk about that in a second or two. Now the Holy Spirit is pretty complex and I'm not going to pretend to know everything there is to know about the Holy Spirit. Uh, I think uh, as you kids get older, probably our pastors would be able to better, better explain and better uh, share about the Holy Spirit. But I'm going to tell you a few things that I know and that I think that you kids should know. Uh, number one is the Holy Spirit is part of the Holy Trinity. And the Holy Trinity is made up of God Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, the three things that makes up the Holy Trinity. And then number two, the Holy Spirit is always with us. When we believe in Jesus and that Holy Spirit comes in us, that the Holy Spirit is always with us. And lastly, the Holy Spirit helps us when we need it to. So for example, if we need to be stronger, the Holy Spirit will give us strength. If we need to be braver, the Holy Spirit will give us courage. It will encourage us, it will teach us, it will guide us to do the right thing that makes, that, like I said, puts a smile on God's face, helps us when we need uh, help. And also, like I talked about earlier, about the, uh, like, kind of like the apple slices in our Happy Meal, the Holy Spirit gives us fruits. But these are the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And it'll appear on the screen right now. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. So before we close, I'm going to give you an example of how the Holy Spirit is working in us. Uh, we're going to show a short video, and this is taken from a one of the first Sunday School videos, and this is from one of Pastor Josh's skits uh, with Ned and uh, the Doof Nuts. Uh, so let's watch that first.
I can't help it. I want your donuts! Now in that short little video clip, we saw Ned, uh, you know, reaching for the box of donuts that he knows that it's not his and that he shouldn't take. As he's reaching, you can see there's a moment where he's deciding, should he take it or should he not take the box of donuts? And the reason that he's having that uh, dilemma, that it's struggle to choose, is the Holy Spirit in him is telling him that it's not right to take the box of donuts. It's guiding him to not take it away. And that's why he kind of pauses before he takes the box of donuts. But does he listen to the Holy Spirit or does he not listen to the Holy Spirit in that, in that example? No, he didn't listen because he took the box of donuts. But that's an example of when the Holy Spirit is working in you, is that it's kind of like that little voice inside you that's telling you, you know, you shouldn't be doing that, that's not right, that's wrong, or helping you do the right thing. So in those cases, we should really focus on trying to listen to the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit will guide us and help us do the right thing and put that smile on God's face. All right, with that said, we're going to end in prayer. And as usual, our Pastor David will end in the Lord's Prayer. So let's all bow our heads, close our eyes, and I'll pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you again for giving me this time to come speak with the children, Lord. Uh, come deliver your message on uh, salvation and listening to the Holy Spirit, uh, listening to the Holy Spirit guide us in our lives, Lord, and just being able to uh, enjoy uh, all the things that is provided when we believe in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, Lord. I pray as we begin this new year, Lord, that the children uh, can start this year off right, start this year in, uh, in, your God, in your light, Lord. As we start, Lord, I pray for the children that don't know Jesus, Lord, that haven't uh, really been able to uh, truly believe in him, that to truly bring, the, bring Jesus into their lives, Lord. I pray for those children, Lord, that they can learn more about your son, learn more about what he's done for us, Lord. And hopefully I pray, I hope and pray, Lord, that one day, maybe this year, Lord, that they can uh, uh, accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior, Lord. I pray for the children that already believe in him, Lord, that they can continue to uh, grow in your Lord, continue to read your word, continue to pray to you. Uh, and I pray for all the children, Lord, in Sunday school that we can come together uh, very soon back to church, worshiping and praising face to face, Lord. I pray all these things in your son's name. Amen. All right, kids, that's it for now. I'll see you next time. All right, Sunday School, that brings our worship service to a close. I hope everyone's doing well. Again, we're going to release version two of uh, Do You Love Your Jesus um, next week. And thank you, Teacher Doug, for the wonderful message of the who the Holy Spirit is and what is his role. One thing I do want to add a Sunday School is the Holy Spirit is our guide. He teaches us like Teacher Doug uh, showed us the example of Ned. Um, you know, he hesitated because he knew what he was doing is wrong. So he probably heard like, you know, the Holy Spirit was telling him that was wrong. But another role of the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit gives us the strength to do what puts a smile on God's face. Not only does he teach us, without the Holy Spirit, we can't live a life that puts a smile on God's face. In the instance of Ned, though he knew, and probably he he um, knew it was wrong, he didn't rely on the power of the Holy Spirit to do what was right. So instead of putting a smile on God's face, in that instance, um, he got a thumbs down. All right, Sunday School. So not only rely on the Holy Spirit um, as you study God's word, because the Holy Spirit will teach you and guide you, um, you know, ask God, um, ask the Holy Spirit to help you to put a smile on God's face. And the Holy Spirit will give you power and give you the strength to do so. All right, with that said, let's um, end in the Lord's Prayer and we will see you next week. Let's pray together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right, bye Sunday School.